What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today I'm going to go over a really simple fix that you can do and it could be a major cause of all your pain that comes from driving. This is a mistake that I made myself for years before I even knew what I was doing and it ended up giving me a lot of knee and hip issues. So I'm going to show you a sign of what you're doing wrong. I'm going to show you how it actually affected my car and that's affected my body. And then of course I'm going to talk about how to fix it. So let me show you my car and what I'm talking about here. So if we look at my car, you can see that hole right there. In comparison to where the brake and the pedal are, look at the trajectory. It's a 45 degree line from that spot right there straight to the gas and pedal. What was going on, and I'll do my best to show you in the car here, is that is where my heel was at. So this is my leg, that's the heel. Whenever I would use the gas or the brakes, this would be the swivel point of my heel. The issue is, look at how curved my heel is outward, and it's really stretching and overstretching the inside of my knee. What's far better to do is actually place the heel here, so that my knee is nice and neutral and then I can just as easily switch to both. So if you are someone, especially with longer legs, avoid putting your foot like that because you can see it really stretches out the knee and instead straighten that knee out, keep that heel right in front of the gas and brake pedal and that's going to be much better alignment for your knee and hip. So you can see the big issue was my heel was almost in the middle of the pad, but then my whole toe was pointed outward. This really stretched out the inside or medial part of my leg and made the outside or lateral part shortened and very tight. So to fix it, we need to move the heel back in line with the pedals so that your foot and heel are like this, not curving out to the side like that. This straight and neutral path is going to make sure that nothing gets overstretched or tightened or shortened in a way that it shouldn't. And in the long run, that's going to do a lot to fix the knee alignment, the hip alignment, and any pain, tension, pulling, or any other issues that you might be feeling in the legs or lower legs. So avoid twisting your heel out or putting your feet in an irregular position to where they're not aligned. And I know there's loads of other stuff to do with cars that can make your body feel better, but for this one, we're simply focusing on that leg path and staying in a nice neutral line. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully it helped you out. Give it a thumbs up if you did like the video and subscribe to the channel for new content. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.